Hey, this is our Savior, and today I'm going to show you how to make an automatic honeycomb harvester. Um, and like all automatic harvesters, you're going to want to start with somewhere for the product to end up. And we're going to put a little line of hoppers into it. And next, we're going to want to put down a place for the bees uh, to get to their flowers. And this part doesn't have to be glass, but it can be nice to be able to see the bees doing their thing. So we're gonna put some glass here. And then we're gonna put our dispensers facing down in place. That's, nope, that's too high. We're gonna put our dispensers facing down in place and then we're gonna put in our observers that are watching them solid block behind the observer and then we get rid of these solid blocks and just fill in redstone dust over here so that whenever these observers see a state change from where we're going to be putting the hives then they'll send a signal into our dispensers fill your dispensers up with shears if you don't want to spend a whole lot of iron on shears a villager with the shepherd job uh, frequently will sell shears for two emeralds each which is dirt cheap uh, especially when you consider that it would take eight iron uh, being sold to a blacksmith or a toolsmith to get those two emeralds <clears throat> uh, that buy a tool that costs two iron. So now we've got everything in place except the bees. And this works equally well with a bee nest or a beehive. Uh, you're gonna want to have these already with bees in them uh, If you're doing this in survival, so you'll want to have picked them up with silk touch uh, Since this is creative though uh, What I'm gonna do is just add the bees One two three for each hive And uh, when they get inside after pollinating these flowers that'll clear up the space so we can fill in this last piece of glass and get this module fully protected you can hear that little popping sound that's them entering the hive Let's see if we can encourage this guy in or just make it easier Come on, little fella. You can do it. Or we can just replace him. Since this is creative. Alright, so... Uh, as soon as any of these fill up with uh, honey, the observer is going to see that state change and fire a signal uh, at all of them, which doesn't matter uh, because the shears only use up durability if they actually do something. So it's fine that there's cross-contamination from the redstone lines of these three things. It makes it a little bit noisier but if you put it far enough away from the central area of your base you're not going to be listening to it most of the time uh, and there you have it this is all you need to set up uh, automatic honeycomb harvesting in your survival world uh, next week I'll show you how to get uh, honey bottles it's a little bit more complicated because you have to uh, prevent cross-contamination 
spots, so these will be spaced out more. And uh, also, it uses comparators instead of observers, uh, so that you don't get all these false firings here that would be wasting glass bottles. But this has been Sour Savior. Uh, thank you for watching.